Okay, I've got some refined steel in, and I've got the quest complete. Let's build us a brand new multi-block. Now, you'll notice that I built a fair few more thermal evaporation blocks than I, strictly speaking, need. That's because we want this tower to be huge. Just going to lay out a little base here. It is a 4x4. Four four. And what you do after that is you make a hollow tube shape around the center. And you see I'm already almost done with all the blocks. I need more. Because we are going to want this thing to be fairly tall. Yeah, I'm already out. But on the top of that, we'll put the evaporation controller in somewhere, I, I think, just along the base here. I'll put the valves. Put, like, a valve here. I'll have a valve for output here. And I'm not sure what I would need a third valve for. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, I think that I can technically complete the multi-block right now just by putting... No, it's still incomplete. It must not be tall enough. Either that or it's not considered complete until it has a proper heat source, which is our next quest. Now, they're calling for me to make this fuel wood heater and these thermodynamic conductors. That's an okay means of making heat. It burns fuel. It's it's the traditional way. But I'm probably going to actually make solar for this. Make this a solar evaporator, just for the sake of pure laziness. My true lord and master. But let's complete the quest. So, fuel wood heater. Two furnaces, some plating, and a steel casing. Okay. Oh well. Maybe I should put furnaces on autocraft. Meh. I'll just build like a stack of them. Use them as necessary. Okay, fuel wood heater. And then thermal. No, is it thermo? There it is. Yeah, it's just steel and copper, and I think it called for a stack of them. Mm, no, it just called for four. Either way. Yeah, I think that this should technically complete the multi-block if I just put a fuel wood heater on top of it. No? Hmm. I'll figure that out later. Ah, gives me another stack of those blocks. That's good. I want to build this thing taller. Let's just go and do that real quick. Okay, now... Let's try... Because I think this is the way it's supposed to be capped off. And then... No, yeah, it's still incomplete. Well, maybe it won't be complete until I put the solar in there, but... Maybe I need to boop it with the configurator? No. Uh been a long time since I built one of these. And I only did that once, like, just derping around with mechanism a long time ago, figuring out the fusion reactor. Anyway, to make it a proper solar evaporator, I'm going to need four advanced solar panels. These guys. And you see that these are made mostly out of these regular solar panels which I already have on Autocraft, they are fairly simple. Uh, 
Really? What's crafting? Oh, I'm out of those basic circuit boards. Well... You just get a bunch more of those crafting. And you know what? I'm probably going to want to build up a good supply of them again. So, yet again, I will be RB. Derpa herp, I got the wrong size base. That's the problem. It isn't a 3x3 three three interior, it's a 2x2 two two interior. Like this. Total size 4x4. Four four. I think I might have even said that out loud and not realized the mistake I was making. And as a result, this tower is going to be quite a lot taller than we would expect. Yeah, look at that. It actually... I think that it's kind of perfectly laid out, except I'm going to have to take out the corners. Up, ah, yep. You see that red flash there? That was it forming up. And now I just need to... A dupe. And a dupe. A bloop. And a blop. Yes. And you see that formed up all over again. And it is gradually heating up. Now I just need to put in the valves at the bottom. And there we go. And what this tower will do is it will take in water and it will turn it into brine, which is the first step in making one of the two fusion fuels we will need. Now, obviously, I'm just going to source my water from yet another Everfull urn. They really are wonderful little devices. The zoop. Zavi ah, the Everfull urn. And this should actually provide more than enough water. Yeah, I think I'll just put it on this side over here. Bit of lag, but there we go, outputting. That should be putting water into the tower, yep. And you see it's already producing brine, but, well, this, it's going to be very slowly heating up. And you, it, it should actually be heating up constantly, but it's doing it in fits and starts because I'm getting that weird, that, that weird behavior that we've seen where monsters move in little fits and starts like that, it's not just affecting monsters, it's affecting every single device. Like, it's affecting every ticking entity, I think. And I'll, yeah, it's happening right now, and I'll see if I can find something to show you. Here we are, here's some monsters. Yeah, you see, they are, they are doing the thing. If anything, I think it's actually getting worse. So it's kind of a good thing that we're close to the end game here because, uh, well, we, we're in the end game. We're close to the end here because I think regrowth is, um, the technical difficulties just keep getting more and more. Maybe it's related to that stack overflow thing. Who knows? It's, it's well past time to ditch this world, though. The lag, the problems, everything is just getting out of control. How funny that in the process of trying to rebuild the world, I am in fact breaking it more. Okay. So... Brine is not the end of the process, of course. We do not run a fusion reactor just off of brine. The next step of the process is I'm going to have to build another one of these towers, and I'm going to have to pipe the brine out of it, and that will turn the brine into lithium. And I am currently waiting on more of those baseline circuit boards to craft, so I will be RB yet again.
Okay, second tower constructed. Advanced solar generators also constructed. Just gotta... Oops. Get these all on up here. There we are, we saw the red sparks, and look, I actually spaced that out perfectly. I'm happy with myself. And, of course, because these are solar, these will only heat up during the daytime, so I am temporarily sleeping again. At least until these things build up enough heat that they can, you know... I, I think that in the course of a day-night cycle, they build up slightly more heat than they dissipate. But they need a few days to build up first, you know? Okay. So, now I can output the brine. Just take my configurator here. A doop doop. There we go. Yep, more lag. Ugh. And now we should see this. Yes, it's turning into liquid lithium. Excellent. Excellent. Now. The next step of processing, because we don't make a fusion reaction out of lithium, is we need to make something called a solar neutron activator. And I believe this is actually the next quest. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, to run a minimum setting fusion reactor, I need seven of these. And yeah, they require sunlight to operate, so probably around 14 of them would be the magic number to get 24-hour coverage. Or maybe that 7 is already taking it into account. I don't know. I'll make 14. I have the resources. Well. Huh. Okay. One thing to note, though, this is produced from gaseous lithium. So the first thing we need is another rotary condensator in order to gasify the liquid lithium. Which, thankfully, I have some just sitting in storage from heaven knows what. Yes, you hear my rolling machines clicking away down there. I had them... I had them build a bunch more um, plates for me. Yeah, that, lith that lithium is still building up. I imagine that for the moment it's building up... No, it's not building up brine. Okay, so yeah. The, the ratio of brine to lithium, like, I, I think it's one-tenth of your water turns into brine and then one-tenth of your brine turns into lithium or something like that. Or maybe the ratio is even more extreme. Either way, you you only get a tiny amount of lithium, and we're going to lessen that even less to get the tritium. So we have we have quite a thing ahead of us. Anyway. First off, which side of this is for the liquids? That side is for the liquids, I think. Which means if I put it here, that should do it. Yes. Mm hmm And we want this in decondensating mode to turn the liquid into gas. And step number one is to give it the feed of lithium. Isn't it a lovely... It, it's Mountain Dew. I'm, I'm going to be running my base on the power of Mountain Dew. Yes. Truly, the future is mine. Next, I'm going to have to find a power line. Yep. At this point, my philosophy is just drill in one direction for long enough and I'll eventually find a power line. I've been running these things everywhere. But still, I kind of wish I had like something like Fortress Crafts 
uh, hollow base feature, which allows you to see these things at a distance. Oh, and in case you were wondering, there is another use for brine as well. It is used in part of the the resource processing chain for mechanism. The mechanism can allow you to multiply ores by five times, I think. And brine is one of the first steps in the chemical processing for that. Okay. And now we are building up a steady stream of lithium gas. Lovely. Now I just need to take a gas pipe and build some solar neutron activators. Let's do this proper and get us some... some ultimate gas pipes. No, I think it's just called pipe, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Tube. Yes, it's called pressurized tubes. I must say, I really like the mechanism's piping system. Like, I think the only piping system I like more is Ender IO, and that's just because it's overpowered as heck. But I kind of don't like the recipe system for it. How, like... I, I wish that there was maybe, I don't know, a more expensive version so you could just craft ultimate right away instead of having to walk up the thing. Oh yeah, and I found that for whatever reason, now a lot of the time when I try and craft something, it's sending the crafting order, like I'll, I'll show you. I don't know, now it's in the pattern terminal, but before this icon would have been the wireless thing. And that's why it was quitting out on me, is because it was it was trying to do the wireless terminal. I don't know. Just the bugs, they keep on piling up. I am learning to deal with them, but I would rather not. Okay, but first... Solar Neutron. These things are, of course, using these HDPE sheets. Remember them from our power gen situation? Oh, and R8 plates. Good thing I have those. Yeah, see, that, that was the wireless terminal again. I didn't notice it in time. Wait, hold on. I have a... Okay, now it's set to that. But if I take the wireless terminal off of my hotbar... Yeah! It's happening whenever the wireless terminal is not in my hotbar. Why? That's totally weird. Hold on. Is it because I'm wheeling it? No, it's just because it's in my hotbar. I take it off again... Yeah, that's... That is totally weird. God. <sighs> anyway, me freaking out aside, you see this is a fairly simple crafting recipe. Really, the only complicated bits are probably these control circuits. Other than that, it's just everything else that's complicated, you know? One, two, three, four. Oh. Out of Ardite. And that will again be clicking away in the background, and that's going to take a couple minutes. Yeah, here's the here's the buffer chest of all the stuff that's happening. You see I Loaded it up with a bunch of copper plates to make those evaporation towers. And now I must wait on this. But I'll at least lay out the pattern that I'll be using. So, all I need to do... Six, seven, yep. 
And this thing... Yep, it's outputting. It's just not visible yet because this pipe holds a whole crap ton. Nope, that needs to be rotated. There we go. And see, it should be taking in... It accepts upgrades. Huh. It accepts speed upgrades. I wonder if that works. Okay, what's wrong here? You have power, you have output. Why you know? Was I lied to, and does this in fact require liquid lithium? Aha! I've got it. That isn't an input, it's an output. I had it rotated the right way the whole time. These things accept gases from the bottom. Yes. There we go. That's doing it. And now my curiosity is piqued. So I'm just going to see if these speed upgrades work at all. I am out of air runes. Well, let's just make a few then. Yeah, it's increasing in... Yeah, look at that. It's it's actually super effective. Look at this. It's already up to 16x. So this one this one solar neutron activator is actually even more than I need. That's good to know, but I'm still going to have to build 7 of them for the quest. <laughs> hmm. In the process of being exposed to solar neutrons, I have gone from Mountain Dew to Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Hells yes.